the first time you see 40 or 80 or 200 acres of sunflower, it's really amazing, right? It's just a beautiful sight. But what they don't realize is there's actually a strategic raw material that that plant is producing. And that is natural rubber. David Woodburn sees sunflowers as hope for the future. Woodburn is CEO of Edison AgroSciences. In 2020, the St. Louis-based ag tech startup said it produced a world's first, a sheet of natural rubber produced from sunflower leaves. The sunflowers were grown in a lab at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center. Edison Agro Sciences is using gene editing technology to increase the levels of natural rubber in sunflowers for extraction. Leverage the 1.5 million to 2 million acres a year that's grown in the U.S. to produce rubber. The idea gained support. Biogenerator, the investment arm of BioSTL, invested, helping the companies move to St. Louis from North Carolina. Edison AgroSciences leveraged $1.7 million in federal grant funding, and it won a $50,000 grant from Arch Grants in St. Louis. Some of our experimental plants were in a field trial here in Missouri, and we saw an increase in natural rubber in those plants. The latest achievement is winning a spot in a Wells Fargo Innovation Incubator, receiving up to $250,000 and technical support from the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center. So why so much interest in sunflower rubber? There's a huge supply chain issue with natural rubber. It's a strategic raw material that's used in thousands, tens of thousands of products, and all of it is grown over 10,000 miles away and harvested manually from a tree species that's been wiped from its native continent by disease. Woodburn explains 90% of the world's natural rubber comes from Southeast Asia. The entire rubber market is split roughly evenly between natural rubber and synthetic. We still rely on natural rubber because it has certain performance characteristics that can't be matched by synthetic materials. Common examples range from high performance tires to athletic shoes either due to temperature extremes, abrasion resistance, impact resistance. Consider an aircraft tire at altitude is at least minus 40 degrees C. And then upon touchdown, the surface temperature when that rubber hits the pavement is 400 degrees. And so a synthetic material can't handle that type of extreme. He says every year sunflower yields in the U.S. produce roughly 50,000 tons of natural rubber in plant leaves. But the concentration in each sunflower would be too low and costly for extraction. With the Wells Fargo Innovation Incubator funding and support, Woodburn hopes to expand research to further identify varieties of sunflowers with higher rubber content for selective breeding in order to boost natural rubber production, making extraction possible. There are two approaches, the gene editing approach, but the other approach is to look at the genetic diversity that's already existent and then just breed. Woodburn says it's a golden opportunity for the U.S. to have a reliable source of natural rubber at home.